When a monarch butterfly female arrives in Massachusetts in summer, she's focused on finding milkweed and laying her eggs. She lays a single dome-shaped egg on the underside of a leaf before moving to another leaf or plant. The pale translucent egg gradually turns dark at the tip as the caterpillar develops. Then one day, it laboriously chews its way through the egg wall and wriggles its way out. The tiny but voracious caterpillar turns and eats the remains of the egg before scurrying away to begin its insatiable quest to consume as much milkweed as possible. In a day or two, it will shed its exoskeleton and develop the first of its iconic black, white and yellow striped exteriors. Monarch caterpillars repeat this process of shedding five times in total, each time consuming their shed exoskeleton. After two weeks of relentless eating, the caterpillars have increased their size by 2,000%. The caterpillar will often leave the milkweed plant at this point and seek out a robust stem or even a solid object like a fence post and attach itself to that surface by spinning a pad of silk and holding on by its last pair of prolegs. Finally, the caterpillar inserts a stick-like appendage called a chromaster into the silk pad and hangs upside down in a J position. Within 24 hours, the caterpillar will perform another dramatic and athletic shed, revealing not a caterpillar with a new pattern this time, but a chrysalis. If you watch carefully, you will see the outline of the butterfly to bee's antennae, legs and face in the soft chrysalis. After the final whirl and wriggle, the striped exoskeleton, faceplate and all, drop to the ground like a pair of discarded pyjamas. The pale green chrysalis will now harden and become smooth on the outside. On the inside, the incredible process of metamorphosis has begun. The caterpillar's body now releases an enzyme that dissolves the cells of its muscles and some organs into a protein-rich liquid. Specialized cells, known as imaginal discs, now begin a rapid division. These cells contain the blueprint of each of a butterfly's body parts. In just one week, the digestive system has been completely rebuilt. In two weeks, the head, wings, eyes and legs have been fully formed and become visible as the chrysalis becomes increasingly transparent. Finally, the chrysalis splits and the monarch butterfly emerges. The wings are crumpled at first, but the butterfly pumps a fluid called hemolymph from its swollen body into its wings. Within two hours, the wings are fully extended and dry enough to manage a brief flight. Within 24 hours, it's all systems go as their eyes and their neuromuscular connectors come online, as it were. Then it's time to feed. Four monarchs need to gather as much fuel as they can for the long flight to Mexico where instinct will bring them to the same overwintering site their great-grandparents left in the spring. This homing instinct is one of the great unanswered scientific questions. They will rely on pockets of late season native plants like asters and goldenrod and some exotic flower garden annuals like these zinnias as they begin their journey from the northern states. And then one day, just like that, they're gone from our neighborhoods until next summer. <laughs>